Hey golfers, Dave from Fits You Golf. This is the second episode in my affordable club building series where I challenge myself to build a club or set of clubs at an affordable price. Today's topic is the driver. And what inspired me to make this video is I went to the local retailer and I tried out a couple of the hottest drivers on the market right now, the Cobra F9 and the Ping G410. Both of these drivers come in at 500 or more dollars MSRP. And of course they both come boasting different technologies with weight and hosel adjustments and so forth. But what I was really interested in was ball speed. I wanted to see if these produced good ball speed numbers, maybe better than what I could match building my own club. So as a comparison, keep in mind that with the Cobra F9, I was getting ball speeds in the mid 130s. And with the Ping, I was getting ball speeds in the mid to upper 130s, but I didn't break 140 with either club. So I challenged myself to build a driver that would match or better that performance at under $60. So let's get started. So for the head, I chose a Maltby CT250 flight control driver. I own two of these. This is one of my favorite drivers. It's an older driver, uh, came out in 2005. Uh, it's compact, 425 cc's, uh, 10 and a half grams aloft. It has movable weights with all the weights installed stock. The head weight is 202 grams. I took out one of those two gram weights and added an eight gram weight, so the head weight is 208 grams. I picked up this driver head for $7.95 used. That's $7.95. For the shaft, I chose something that was brand new, but uh, not a brand new release. This is a shaft from 2008. This is the Aldola Voodoo RVS 65 R Flex. This is a mid-spin, mid-launch shaft with a more active tip section than some of the other Aldolas like the NV65. It has their smart technology that resists ovaling when you're swinging the club, and it has a mid-torque rating. Now, when this Aldola shaft came out, it had an MSRP of around $160. I paid $34 for it. So assembled, uh, this club is 45 and a half inches. I tip trimmed the shaft to half an inch to accommodate the heavier weight of the head. I know that these shafts tend to run uh, a little stiff in terms of their profile, and uh, this came in at right between regular and stiff at 5.5 uh, when I frequency metered it. To help offset the heavy swing weight, I put a heavy mid-sized royal grip on it, and the swing weight is D4. So they put up some swings here. I'll say that the feel was very nice. I really like this shaft. Um, it, it loads more easily than some of the other Aldolas. Felt very smooth. Club head I'm very familiar with has a really nice sound to it. You know when you hit the sweet spot, and I think it's also pretty forgiving side to side. In terms of the performance, you can see that uh, I got pretty good performance here. I, I definitely was able to match or better the best results I had with one of the brand new drivers. Uh, you can see my numbers there in terms of ball speed and also carry. Okay, in summary, I think I was able to demonstrate that for uh, under $60, actually under $50, I was able to build a driver that would match or better the performance of some of the modern drivers that are out there today at um, a much higher price tag. Now, I'm not knocking anybody who wants to go out and buy one of these drivers or another one of the new ones that are out there. I love golf clubs too, and the way that I support that habit is by finding affordable materials. Now, granted, with the newer drivers, you do get some of the technology that you don't with the older driver. Uh, my driver does have movable weights and into specific positions, much like the Ping G410, but it doesn't have an adjustable hosel, and some people might prefer that. But the difference between the cost of this driver and those drivers is at least $450, and for $450 you can keep your adjustable hosel. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you use a combination of affordable components that produces a, a really solid driver. Maybe there's a used driver that you like. Uh, so I'd like to hear from you. Keep watching and stay positive.